Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this snow globe card. It's super, super dimensional. It stands up like that. So you've got three layers to it. You can fold it completely flat, unless you've used um, foam pads or anything like that. So it'll pop in an envelope and it fits in a normal A5 card envelope, which is called a C5. So that's in the UK. I'm not sure what it is abroad. But you can also make this from A4 and 8.5 by 11. I always try to design my cards so that you can make them um, across the board. So I've um, made it so that you're just using a rectangle piece of card and circles. So you can cut out circles with dies, you can cut out circles with cutting machines, and you can cut out circles with a compass and pencil, and you can also draw around plates and things like that if they're the right size. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and let me just give you a quick... Showdown. So what I've used is just decoupage. So it's layered decoupage from Hunky Dory, and I've, you can see it's flat against the back. I've not got any dimension in there. There's room for loads of dimension. You could have danglies. You could put string across here. Have danglies down through there. Use your dies, your stamps, all sorts of things for this. So I'm really chuffed with the way it's turned out. Um, just give me a mention if you do make it, because I have designed it this morning. And <laughs> now I'm bringing it to you. So I'll just grab my things and we'll get started. Right, so the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of card that's 5 inches by 11. Now this is forming the base, so please make sure this is sturdy card because it's got to take the weight of those circles and whatever else you put on it. And if you do it too light, it will be wibbly wobbly and top heavy and it won't stand rigid upright like this one. It'll be like all oh, wanting to fall backwards and forwards. But this one being Centura Pearl, it's nice and strong. You've got some layers going through the middle there. So yeah, it gives it a lot of depth and strength. So make sure you use a strong card. It's 300 GSM. Not sure what that is in pounds, but you can do a converter online so what we're going to do is make the base and we're starting with the 11 inches this way and we're just going to score i've got this on scrap paper i will write it down properly one two and a half three and a half five seven oh nearly missed it eight and a half and nine and a half so i'll recap that one two and a half three and a half, five, seven, eight and a half, and nine and a half, okay? Now, there's, what you'll notice is from the two, the two score that you've got is only one with two. Now, on one side, you've got three, and on the other side, you've got four. So, if I would recommend you probably use it with this one being the front, so make that one the base, okay? Um, so, just we we'll call this the front, but just bear in mind that you have got three one side and only two the other. Now you're going to make cuts, but you're not going to touch these three panels, okay? So we're going to turn it around. So depending on which way you just turned that, make sure that you, you're looking at your two and your one and a halves either side. And then at one and four, we're just going to make a faint line because this is just a cutting line. And we're just going to go down to that first one and a half so there's three movements there three movements <coughs> three panels there <laughs> so you just spin it around and then one inch again and there's only going to be two panels on this side okay so one inch oh, wobbly well good job is a cutting line and just down there so we've just scored there and there it's just marks for um, what we're going to do for cutting so I don't need that anymore let's move that one out of the way bear with me so we're just going to do some cutting now so on some scissors we're going to literally cut these panels out that we've just scored in March you'll see as I cut them so these are one inch in one inch in all the way down on those three so you just get into that line there and then the same on this side there is a quicker way of doing this, but I don't want to confuse you. You can do it all in one go, but the next stage, I mean. So just going all the way down like that. So you've just cut away these two flaps. And then again, on the other side, what have I got on my scissors? Got to get rid. So I hope this um, card isn't too shiny for the camera. I could probably turn it over and work with it if it is. 
and then again just gonna just trying to get on the right side of that score line so if you cut on the outside of the score line you, you see a mark it's not too important on this because you don't really see much of that mechanism going on so now these bits here so from this point to that point is where you're going to cut next so you're just going to make a diagonal cut across there quite a shadow on here i don't know what it is i've got my um bellux windows up above me so that might well be cast in the shadow of, of my phone so from that point to that point just line the scissors and make one cut okay just do it in one one swoop if you like i find as well it's better to come in under there tr rather than trying to get yourself to end here now if it's a little bit off it is a little bit it's a little bit off on both sides so i'm happy <laughs> and then from here i'm gonna cut straight over to that one you could do this with a paper trimmer if it makes you feel happier it's fine i just think it's only a small cut and it is the inside mechanism if you like so this bit with the three is, is where we're going to put tape, okay? So now you decide, if you're going to have your um, card with your shiny side showing, then make sure that you keep it shiny side up. And we're going to fold everything in. We're going to fold all of these panels in that way, and then come back the other way and do exactly the same. Whoops, bent it. So we've done that so we've got the base the two there and then just all the folds coming in now we just need to put some tape on this on the right side of this um tab here where there's three not where there's two so where there's three if you were using 12 inch card then obviously you could have made that extra tab but you don't really need it and i thought let's do it with 11. you probably don't have a clue what i'm talking about because that's my engineering brain from this morning still oh you could have done it like that but to keep it with the um two card sizes that everybody's got it's sold widely so okay so this one is going to be going so if you fold it over to the edge to that two inch squat, uh, rectangle so that two inch rectangle get the edge up to it and then you can fold the rectangle onto it and there's your first it in like that now the rest of it does go like this so we do have to glue these but don't glue them yet okay so we can add tape to these but do not take the tape off and you can also add tape before you cut it which is what i did before and then the tape goes right up to the edges if you know the panels that you're going to be doing so i'm just going to put some tape on both sides of this because one side will get covered up in a minute right so that's that so we've got our tape there ready to go so this is what folds flat so you can reinforce all of that get it going both ways like this there we go now the other thing i like to do is add a panel of this color that we've used because you're not seeing it so you just cut down a piece that's just under two inches and then you glue it on i'll do one just stick put i'm only going to put one bit of tape because this is a little bit obvious and just pop some just under two inch so like one and seven eighth panel along there making sure that you're not interfering with those score lines because that will affect the maneuverability now the reason i didn't cover the panel underneath is because this is card okay so if i had covered that whole panel before i stuck this down it would raise these up yeah so it would take the measurements off just a little bit you don't see the inside bit Look at me doing the second side so I wouldn't. Got it now, start it. Um, so it would raise up the measurements because it's a pretty thick card. Um, and it may not work. It may, but it, it will throw it off, you know, just a little bit. So I haven't tried it. If it was paper, it'd be absolutely fine. Obviously, if you're using double-sided paper, then you're sorted. Always cut from the back because you can see where you're going. And there you are. You've got matching sides to your card base now. See what I mean? We've got the old pearl going on everywhere. Really pretty. So that's that bit. Now we go on to circles. So you need five inch circles. You need one solid and then you need one. And I think the diameter of this is, that's not an inches mat underneath me. But if I get this to five inches, 
then we can see the one inside is four and a quarter. So the inside circle is four and a quarter. So what you can do is, if you haven't got um, dies and you're using a compass or drawing around things, then you just want it to be about that much smaller. So just cut out your smaller circle and lay it over and draw around it and then cut that out as well. So you just need two like this and one like that. So you need three circles, all five inches. And then the insides are up to you really. You can have a wider border. It's entirely up to you. So I use a cut machine, so it was nice and easy for me. I use a scan and cut. Now what you're going to do is, if you want to, and I recommend you use some form of acetate, even if you don't have the snowfall acetate, it will reinforce this circle. This is really strong card, so it's not too bendy. But if you're not using this card, it could be quite bendy. So what I like to do, and this is the best way of doing it, is put the red liner tape on the acetate, not on the card, because it's really difficult to line your card up, uh, line the acetate up to the card. And if you go off, then the card will bend but the acetate won't and if you're overhanging with acetate you can just snip it off now the other thing is I only do this on one side now if you put the acetate on and you don't like the look of the tape showing because you're going to see the tape then you can make more rings so you can cut out another two rings and add them to the back of it to cover it up but because it's a snow globe card and you're only really meant to look at it from the front then I didn't bother, but you know, some people like to inspect, let them inspect, have a go. <laughs> but if you like that really professional look, then just cut yourself an extra two um, circles, rings. And um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just stretching the tape a little and using my index finger just to make it go all the way around. Oops, no, I chopped a bit off. Luckily it wasn't my finger that I chopped off, so that's all right. So what I mean, explain myself I'm going to pull this back you can see the tape yeah you can see the tape on the acetate so if you don't want to see that then you're just going to cut out an extra ring and before you make, put it into your card you'll cover the back of it as well like that so you can't see anything make it look even better but it will also make it thicker just bear that in mind which makes the top heavier as well so you could use just paper on the back so we're going to take off, I'm thinking on my feet because like I said I've only just literally just made this and I thought I've got to do this while it's in my head. If I leave it a couple of days and then do the filming I'll forget what I've done and then I'll have to teach myself all over again. So I've got my acetate, you can see it there with the lights, so that's quite good. So what I like to do is just line up the circle like that on the edge somewhere and then very slowly with it in the air it's not touching the acetate try and make sure that you're covering it all and then let it all go down now if you do it the other way around it's really hard now i have cut my acetate very very slightly like an eighth of an inch smaller just to allow for you know because error because we're close there we're not close there it doesn't matter but you know that's the way it is so we've got our three panels now now the other thing is if you want to do like I did you see I covered the back circle I didn't cut it out I actually made it from the pearl and then I covered it so you can turn it over and use the white side and cover it so the way to cover it is the best thing to do let's grab some all this card here let's grab some card come here card sorry just trying to get a bit of card and it doesn't want to play so you just pop that on wrong side draw around it like this cut it out glue it on your circle simple as that that's all you've got to do the same for if you're doing like toppers and you want them lined up anything like that just put it over the top of where you want it to be draw around it cut it out so you've got lots of options there on what you're going to do now my channel is all about the know-how i'm showing you how to make this so it's up to you how you finish it so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the back panel so we're going to call this one the back panel this is the back panel we're going to put that one on first now i like to use my scoreboard for this because it's got edges that i can butt up to so i can pop that on there and my little mechanism as well so when my mechanism is on there it's three and a half inches okay so i'm going to have that come down there and you can see that cut line is really 
really wonky donkey so I'm gonna make that a little bit better don't like the way that looks let's just go in a bit better to the edge same the other side I think as well it's because I did it quick spend a bit more time get it right first time so this is the front I like the front to be the bit where it's tucked in it doesn't actually matter if you get it wrong don't worry I've got to start again so three and a half and then if you see where the circle come if you butt it all up because they're all five inches wide that's why it's good to use the same size circle as the base so you just butt it up to the edge and then you can go to where the circle disappears and it's just under an inch so it's like seven eighths of an inch there you can go to eight if you want but seven eighths is a good place to do it so you know you've got this area here to put glue and tape and things like that I was going to do it around the other mm, yeah we'll do it around the other way so just at the base of the circles you're going to be able to put some tape and possibly some glue might be a good idea and bear in mind that if you're building up decoupage you'll need to line it all up and everything as well so let's put it on there and we're going to go to just under eight i'm going to go to there so it's if i hold it there turn that around then it below three and a half i can add glue you see so i know where to put my glue i've put tape for an instant lock and then pop that back on make sure you've got the back panel so you've got your two inch and then you've got one and a half inch which is your back panel hopefully you can see this all right and then but i'm holding it in the air and i'm holding this down firmly the circle now i'm just going to push that onto there now i've got the wrong side showing here because i'm going to cover it okay and i wanted the pearl to be on the back so the back is all pearl yeah so i haven't got to do anything to that and this needs covering you'd ideally cover it before it goes in but like i say it's all about the know how now we're going to put the next one in which is the middle one so what we're going to do with this one is the same thing so we're going to use this is um an inch here that i'm folding over so this was just under eight so i'm going to make sure this circle goes just under nine so butt it up to the top pull over your inch only put your circle on push it to the side and make it go in the same sort of places where that eight is whatever it is under eight do it under nine and then it will be level okay so if it's you can see there the line between the white and um, the white card and the black line is very small so make it the same there and then you can see you've got a little bit of um, card showing through here but it's going to disappear into the inside so it doesn't matter all right so what we're going to do is take off this tape just the top one so we don't get in a sticky mess so just take off that tape hold it in the air put it where it needs to be up against the edge where you want it to be on nine let it down gently and let it fall into place okay so that one's on now we can seal that all up because we've got our second one in so we've got our first one in at the back we've got a second one in there so you can see it was only like the next panel along and this is really good because you can maneuver it around until you're happy so i'm going to take off that tape and we'll take off the tape this side the reason i put it on this side is, is there's nothing here now because i've taped that down so we've only got tape by the side so just do this and now we can just fold that all up so they meet and now we've got two sections in and they're dead level because we use this as a measuring board okay so they're all nice and level now we're going to put the final one on so we're going to do the same thing we're going to push it up we're going to get this one this is the final one and a half inch panel here and then we're going to put it up and you'll see that the it was on eight and then it went to nine now it's back to seven and eight it doesn't matter as long as the distance from that inch mark is quite similar it will fall up so put your circle up to the edge get it in the right place there and you can see there where you want your glue to go now i'm going to put it on the back of this one i think because we're going to see it where i haven't put anything in ideally i wouldn't stick this down because it's not ready <laughs> i want to put my decor on there but i'll cover this one up i'll put what i'll do is i'll put something at the front that covers it all be it sentiment or another cover of the globe shape 
So just make sure my tapes are in the right place. Pop that on there. There's not. A, I know there's not a lot of tape on there. But what I'll do, get in a mess, is, and you do need to use tape because it's acetate on there. All right, and if you don't have um, tape. The acetate will not stick to anything, so I'm going to need to put more on, which I'll do after, because I might rip this off. So again, we're up to the edge. All of this is square. This is nearly on the edge. Pop it down. And there you go. You've got your three-piece globe base for you to make. So it folds flat, just like my other one. It folds completely flat. You can decorate it. Now, if you've used... Um, cardstock and it's really floppy you can make a little piece that will um, stop that from moving around let me grab a bit of card now you want this to be three inches what i'm going to do is just use my scoreboard it's a quarter of an inch by three and you're going to need to score this at a quarter one and a quarter one and a half, one and three quarters, two and three quarters, and then cut it at three. Cut it there. So we've got it at a quarter, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two and three quarters, and cut it at three. Now I'm gonna have this, you're gonna fold these, all of these are gonna get folded, these little score lines. And you may need to snip them off at the end. I'm just going to show you how to do this. Right, let's move this out of the way. Put wet glue, and it's going to take a while to dry. But make sure that your um, shiny side is up, facing you. Like this. Now, I'm not going to put wet glue on these tabs yet. All right, we're going to do that at the end. I might zoom in a little bit if I can. So we've got our tabs and this is like a little zigzaggy shape. So this is the wrong side because we've got shiny side, wrong side. I'm just going to put glue in this little V section like that. Smear it down. This may take a while to dry. That's the only thing. Now you need to find out where dead centre is of this. So obviously it would be two and a half. I'm going to have to guess it because I'm not on an inch mat here. But we can go roughly... With the centimeters, got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be there, isn't it? So we're going to go on this middle one, get it halfway, and we're just going to stick that down, hold it in place, let it glue, and this one's going to come up the back, keeping the fold there, which is going to move because it's all nice to take. Keep the fold there, okay, keep it in. And this is gonna go to the top here and we can cut that excess off in a minute. This is just a spacer bar. The good thing about the spacer bar as well is you can hang snowflakes and danglies and baubles and things from it. So it's not just gonna be a mechanism, it can also be useful. Um, sorry, not just a spacer, it can be a useful mechanism as well. For doing things like that. So I'm just going to hold it flat, push that down like that. It's not going to glue because it's a nice tape, like I said. Stand it up, try and hold it in place. You can see there you've got a spacer bar in, and that will hold everything together but still fold completely flat. It's going to move around because it's on the wonk as well. Sarah. But you get the idea. Then you'll go to the back and then trim any excess of those tabs. And this one's fallen off. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that on with tape. So you get the idea. So we're going to pop tape on there. Put that spacer bar on there like that. And then that will stay when it's taped. All right. So that just gives you. Now it's just staying at the right panel. So if you have floppy card that will help hold it together. Like I say it still folds flat. But you can hang your snowflakes and everything off of that. Well I hope you enjoyed this demo guys. Uh, let me know what you think of my snow globe card. And um. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.